Hello folks, Wayne Polson here. What do you do in the state of Ohio during daylight savings time when you work a full-time job and it gets dark at five o'clock p.m.? What do you do? You can't cut trees down, now can you? You can't do much of anything. You just can't. I have to wait until the weekend to cut trees. So that means during the week, I'm bored to tears, if you know what I'm saying. So you know what we're gonna do tonight? Modified gas cans. I have to apologize for my brother Pete. He gets like that every now and then. He's like, I don't know, an overinflated sense of ego. I'm not really sure why. We both had a mother. We both had a father. Well, sort of. I know I had a mother. I mean, I had to have a father too. That's a good question. I, I'm sure I had a father. I just don't know who he is, but I'll tell you what, hey, my brother Pete, he'd give you the back off his shirt if he could. You know he would, because he's that kind of guy. I'm just saying, I'm sorry that he comes across kind of being like a, you know, egotistical. He's sort of like that, high-minded, you know? So, have patience with him, okay? He's gonna do this gas can thing. Just let him do it, okay? Just kind of humor him a little bit. We're good. The first thing we do now, we take this gas can. How many of you people are as frustrated as I am with these crazy spouts? Where is it? Let me show you one of these things. It's like right here. That goes on there like that. This thing's supposed to like hook on the rim of the gas tank and open the valve and I hate them. I hate them with a passion. So I'm gonna install an easy pour spout on this gas can. Now, I bought this at a local retailer. I bought it at Rural King. I'll just say that. I'll just say that for right now. So let's take this thing out of the bag. Let's make it work. <clears throat> now, one thing I have to tell you, make sure your gas can is empty. It's gotta be empty. It, you can't have anything in it. There's nothing in this gas can, it's empty. Now, the other thing I gotta tell you is that these gas cans do not have a vent. They don't, they just don't have a vent. The way they do it is the vent is a part of this nozzle right here. See, I don't like it. It doesn't, it's just, it's all about, okay. I'm all about protecting the environment. Okay, I really am. But this is a little ridiculous, I'm just saying. So with that said, let's move on. So anyway, um, so what you need, you need one of these. This is a unibit or a step a bit. Or it's probably called other things, but what you want is the half inch diameter part of it. And I have that right here marked in black. I'm gonna drill this hole one half inch in diameter. And this step bit is the best way to do it. Why? Because if you use a half inch drill bit, this is gonna tear the plastic. It is, it, it'll make a mess out of your plastic. I'm just telling you. Try it yourself and see, but don't say I didn't warn you. So you start off with this guy, get it to a half inch, and you finish up with this because Part of the problem with this is that it doesn't quite drill all the way through the plastic from the outside to the inside, so it leaves a little bit of a rim on the inside. So we're gonna take the rim out with this. All right, so let's move on. Oh, all right, let's get the stuff out of here. All right, here it is. Here's that. Okay. And now they come with two different types of caps. Uh, I think the threads are different in these. So we'll, we'll find out which one we need here. There's also a little washer. All right, so let's find out which one we need. Make sure that that thing is pushed. There, by the way, there's a spark arrestor down inside here. So that's kind of cool, isn't it? I paid 10 bucks for this, I think. All right, so here's what you do. Oh, this one fits beautifully. This is it right here, folks. 
It's not loose, it's tight, making a good fit. Yes sir, Bob, that's it. Now, let's pull this off, put that there. There's instructions in here, right here, and some other stuff. And I would just tell you to try to find the English written instructions. Just try that once and see what happens. I don't know if you can find it. But it's in here somewhere. It's in English, but I'm not gonna use it. All right. I'll tell you why. I did read them once. Okay, just so you know, I read the, the instructions one time. I've got them memorized now. So, we're not going to worry about this right now. First things first, we've got to put a vent in here. Because this does not have an integral vent. It doesn't. You can see right through that sucker. Now, all right, so we have to put a vent. Otherwise, gas will not come out of this spout. Go study your physics. All right, so now... The vent's got to go up high. It's got to go somewhere up here. You don't want it down here or down here, okay? Obvious reasons why you don't want it down there, right? Think about it for just about three seconds. Now, back up here, we're going to take our step bit. We're going to mount it into our DeWalt. If you don't have a DeWalt, that's okay. Don't worry. All right. I'm going to pick a spot up here. Now, look. Here's the vent. This is the vent. This is what... This is what's got to get plugged into the hole that you're making there. This half inch thing right here goes into the hole. I'm going to put this as high as I can up here. Okay. Right about there is good because you don't fill these things beyond, beyond here. All right. So anywhere up in here is good. So let's pick a spot. How about right there, shall we? Okay, here we go. We're going to go. Watch this. I better get my glasses. Where are my glasses? Here they are. Never mind. All right, here we go. Okay, that's it. I'm down to the half inch ring. I'm done with that part of it, except now I'm gonna bore out that little ridge that's left in the bottom of the plastic. I'm gonna put my half inch bit in like this. Just like that, I'm just gonna go. Just like that. Okay, I know some of you are saying, where are your safety glasses? You are absolutely right. Here they are, now that I'm done drilling the hole. Okay, so, now that we're done with that part of it, let's put this vent in. Now, this can be a little tricky, folks. It, it can be. It can be tough to put in there. Let's just see how much trouble it gives us today. To give you trouble, you just get one of these BFHs right here. This is a BFH. It's a rubber BFH. Just a in there, like this, okay? Oh, baby, I'll tell you what, that looks really good. She's in there good, hey? All right. Close that vent. That is done, done. Okay, now, for this part here, just take your, this thing here, screw it on, just like that. Now, you've got this captive cap that goes on here like this, all right? So, what you gotta do though, is you have to take this plastic piece right here, and I usually use a pair of pliers, and you grip this right at the very end, push it through one of the holes. My bad, you don't do that first. You, you'll be in big trouble if you do that first. Forget everything I just said. Let's rewind, shall we? Okay, so what you do now is you take this and you run it through this loop right here. Be a little tough with cold hands. Once you have that through, you pull that loop all the way down to these two humps here, push it past the first hump. Okay, but we're going to do that after we put it around here. Now, this will not fall off of there. Now, take this and you just stick it right through this hole in the cap. Either one of them is fine. Now, what you have here, ladies and gentlemen, is you have a captive cap. Now the EPA should be happy with this, don't you think? I think so. I'm happy with it. All I gotta do is take this cap off, open my vent, and I can pour gas. That's it. Now, read your instructions. I have to advise you, please read your instructions where your safety, PPPPE, and make sure you read the fine print, because that can, wait a minute. This product is not 
CARB compliant, not for sale or use in California, Washington DC, Delaware, Maine, Maryland, or I'm sorry, Massachusetts, Maryland, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, Virginia, and Ohio. Dang, I gotta move to Wisconsin. Heck. Well, folks, I don't know about this. I, I don't know how I was able to buy this at Rural King when it says it's not for sale or use in Ohio. say this if you're from one of those states don't buy it and do not use it because I'm really not going to use this and when I said I bought it and what's worse saying that you're a shoplifter or saying that you bought it <sighs> dang I plead the fifth oh by the way one more thing when you're done with this project you would be wise even though there is a spark arrestor screen in here, you would be wise to just tip this over and get any plastic junk out of there, okay? You would just be wise to do that, just saying. So make sure your gas can is clean. Make sure it is dry. Over and out, Roger Wilco, Stevie Nicks, and all that jazz. <sighs> With the pliers. Time out, folks. Ugh, where'd that go? Dang it. Sure enough, it went 10 yards beyond where it fell. Okay, I'm gonna get it there. Okay, I hope that wasn't too disruptive, folks. Modify gas cans. That's what we do, modify gas cans. Oh. Something like that. So this is the test. Let's see how that works. You know, it's a dark, dark night right now because I live in Ohio and we are under daylight savings time and we're dark at five o'clock. Hello folks, it's Wayne Polson here, live from Ohio. I'm not live, what am I talking about? All right, can you see my head? 